This is the story of two drugs used to treat eye disease in older people. Neovascular macular degeneration is a progressive and chronic disease of the eye and a leading cause of blindness in older people. About one in ten people with macular degeneration suffers from legal blindness. Bevacizumab is a drug that has been developed to treat cancer, while ranibizumab is marketed specifically for age-related macular degeneration. The two drugs are better known by their brand names, Avastin and Lucentis. Both drugs are related biologically and work to prevent the abnormal growth and swelling of blood vessels that are characteristic signs of macular degeneration. Although the beneficial effects of the two drugs are believed to be similar, only ranibizumab has been licensed as a treatment for macular degeneration. Bevacizumab is currently approved only as a cancer therapy. A recent Cochrane review compared the safety of these two drugs. The review included nine randomised controlled trials, none of which were supported by manufacturers of either treatment. They involved a total of 3,665 participants, compared bevacizumab with ranibizumab. The drugs were given for up to two years. The review found the systemic safety of bevacizumab for macular degeneration appeared to be similar to that of ranibizumab. Despite this, bevacizumab is often used off-label as a treatment for macular degeneration because ranibizumab is priced significantly higher. The authors concluded that health policies that favour the much more costly ranibizumab instead of bevacizumab for macular degeneration for reasons of safety are not supported by current randomised control evidence. The evidence within this Cochrane review has had a global impact on informing decisions about health. I never thought about my data then traveling around the world. I arrived here in India and then I met, you know, like all these other Cochranites and fellows that are working to use these evidence to the point of care so clinicians, health professionals and patients can make the best use of these evidence. I am disseminating to our user. So we are like our hospital now, they are having nearly 120 doctors. We have five major hospitals. Nearly uh, daily, they are seeing 1,000 to 2,000 patients. So five hospitals in different places. We have other five secondary care centers. Then uh, apart from that, we are having so many primary care centers, nearly 76. I think he said, mentioned that uh, macular degeneration. So I read that editorial in the September first week, I think. Then immediately I disseminated to our retina consultants. So all are very happy that they want to know this is a very less uh, cost. So all are very interested. This Cochrane review represents an important step forward in the knowledge about differences in systemic harms between bevacizumab and ranibizumab. A larger Cochrane review, which will now assess additional sources of evidence, is now planned to help reduce the remaining uncertainties around the relative benefits and safety of these two drugs. Cochrane produces reviews which study all of the best available evidence generated through research and make it easier to inform decisions about health. Our work is recognised as the international gold standard for high quality, trusted information.